Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Let's get ready to rumble! Y'all ready for this? Let's go ahead and bring up the supplies so we can get started making this paper bag card. Now, as I said, we are using the Michaels Celebrated Bags. And if you can't find these or they're not um, anywhere where you are located at, I can tell you the size of the bag. It's 4 and 5 eighths inches by 2 and 7 eighths inches and 8 and 5 eighths inches. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut that down so that we can make it the size of a regular A2 or A6 card. Probably an A6 card. Oh, A2. Close to an A2 card. So I'm going to bring up my supplies now. So here is my bag that I have gone ahead and cut down to five and a half inches. So basically you're just going to keep your width and you're going to cut your bag down up to five and a half inches. So once you cut your bag, you'll have that little piece left. And what you can do with that is save it. You'll have this much left. So you can save it and do whatever you want with it. I, of course, I'm going to save it because I always say use your scraps. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I'm going to keep it. So now we're going to start putting on our layers. Now, I didn't follow um, Kim's measurements with her layers because I'm doing mine somewhat a little different. So I'm going to start with my first layer that we're going to put on. And we're going to put this layer on right here because my card is going to go this way. So I think I'm going to have my piece laid within here. Now this paper is by Seven Gypsies. And it is a pa paper pad called Collections from the Journey. And this paper is double sided. And I picked this up at Hobby Lobby oh, quite a while ago. I think I got it when I bought my um, bind it all. So I don't know if that paper is still available. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this side of the paper and we're going to go ahead and let me give you the measurement. It is, and these are some odd size measurements. So this is 4 and 9 sixteenths is your width. And the height is 3 and 7 eighths. So that's 4 and 9 sixteenths. And if you're not sure what 9 sixteenths is, that is one mark after the half inch mark on your paper trimmer. So here is the half inch right here. So you would just go over 1 and that would be 9 sixteenths. And then three and seven eighths. So let's get some tape on here. And I'm going to use the HEG gun for this. And I'm going to get my tape all around. And then we're going to add it to our, car, our, our bag, not our card. Eventually it will be a card, but it's really a bag. So. I'm going to just open this up here, and I'm going to have this going across like so. So I'm going to just lay that down, and that gives you just a little bit of an edge where you can see part of the bag. I think it's about an eighth of an inch. You know me, I don't like to measure that much. So I'm just guessing at that, but I would think that that's about an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to just take my score tool and make sure that that is laying flat. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I've already done this. I've gone ahead and put some score tape on the edge of this because what I'm going to do is lay this down and I'm going to create a pocket within here. So let's go ahead and take our tape off. And we're going to put this and lay this down. 
like so. And then I'm just going to press that with my score tool so that now I have my little small tiny pocket. Okay, so let's move on now and add our next piece. Now the next piece is going to go here and we're going to have this like so. Actually, I'm going to turn it. It actually doesn't matter, so I guess I'm going to turn it this way. And let me see. This piece measures 4 and 9 sixteenths by 2 and 11 sixteenths. So your width is 4 and 9 sixteenths and your height is 2 and 11 sixteenths. So what you'll do is you'll go to the 11 sixteenths, which will be one mark before your three quarters of an inch. Look at me. I'm actually measuring people. So, um, thank goodness my husband bought me a tape measure that has all those little measurements on there so I know what they are. So, we'll put this on. Once again, we're going to use our ATG gun and get this piece on here. So, I'm going to get my tape going all the way around again. And then I'm going to get my tape in the middle. And then we'll add this piece to our bag. So now our cart or bag is going to be facing up like so. So now I'm just going to place this and line this up. And once again I'm going to have just that small edge there about an eighth of an inch. So now we are actually ready to add our embellishments. But before we do that, I did cut out a piece to put on the back. And I think I'm going to go with this side. Yeah, we're going to go with this side here. And this piece measures 4 and 9 sixteenths again. 9, yes, 9 sixteenths by five and a quarter. So I believe that's that's right. Yeah. Four and nine sixteenths by five and a quarter. And this one it actually should be facing this way but I cut it the wrong way. So we're just gonna leave it like that because I don't want to waste this paper. So I'm just gonna put that down on the back there. Or actually what we can do is we'll make this. That way it will be facing up. We'll make this our back. Then that way it will be facing up. Like our car sitting up. So we'll just use this side instead. I think that's the way I cut it to begin with and I forgot. So we're going to get our tape on here once again. Using our ATG gun. And if you don't have the HEG gun, you can use whatever adhesive that you have. And then we're going to go across. So, as I said, you can make this card if you don't have the silhouette. Because you can use the Country Life cartridge to cut out your banner pieces. So I want to make sure I got that going the right way, and I do. And then I'm just going to press down. So now, let's go ahead and finish adding the rest of our embellishments. So right now, I'm just going to just lay out my pieces before I actually add them. So what I've also done is I've gone ahead and taken the Tim Holtz gear die. And that looks like this. And I cut out or die cut it this one and this one. And I actually die cut them three times. And then I glued the three of them, three layers together, because I wanted this to be sort of thick. 
and then I took some of my glossy accents and put that on the top there. So how I'm going to put this on here is I'm going to have this right here and I'm going to put this one up here and we'll have our, our birthday going right there. So it'll be laying like that. I know this may be a little bit hard to see because of the paper. And then we'll go ahead and we'll add our letters. So here are our letters cut out. And I'm not, I'm just laying them out for right now because I don't know how I'm going to put them on here. I just want to put it on here for now just to see how it's going to look. And there is our word happy. So we've got that. And then for our tag, we've got our sentiment that we put on using the print and cut feature. And remember, we did cut out two of the one size after we did our internal offset. And this is the internal offset piece right here. And then we're just going to put this on the back. So I think I'm going to use this side so it'll be just a little bit different than what's on the back of our paper bag card. So I'm just going to glue this on real quickly. I've already gone ahead and glued my... Well, actually, I didn't glue the sentiment. I just kind of put it on there. So we better do that first. Let's put our sentiment on. But before we do that, I do want to go ahead and use some of my Tim Holtz dies so we can ink our edges. So let me do ink my edges and then I'll come back. Okay everybody, so I've gone ahead and inked my edges and I used the Tim Holtz Black Soot Distress Ink. And I've placed that on one side of my tag and then on the other side of the tag I've gone ahead and put my other um, tag that I cut out. And then I went ahead and put on the little piece that comes with that file along with my ribbon so now it will sit down inside like so. Now the other thing that I decided to do was I went back and put some score tape along here. I decided I didn't want a pocket here because I have the pocket up here. I was going to um, give him a gift card but actually we're taking him out to dinner so I decided to just close that up. But just keep in mind that you can leave that open and then place something else like a little gift card or something else inside there. So now I've also gone ahead and added some twine It looks like this across here and note remember to add your twine before you put down your layer. Once again, I forgot to do that, and that was because I was thinking I'm not adding ribbon to this card, but I did decide to add the twine, so I had to pull the paper up and tuck it under. So now, we can go ahead and let's put our letters on. So I'm going to line them up first before I, I do have them popped up on some foam tape, so I want to line them up first before I actually add them down to the bag or card. So, we're just going to just go along here and place them down like so. And there we have our happy. So, let's take them up one at a time and put them down with our foam tape. And I think I'm going to use my tweezers so I actually get it exactly where I want it. So there's our H. And then we'll go ahead and add the next letter. Like so. And just continue down adding the, layer, the letters. Place our next letter down. And I'm going to pull the foam tape off this one and add this one. 
and then we'll add our last letter like so so now I have my happy so now let's move on and we'll add the rest of our embellishments so now we're going to place the gears and I think I want to have my gears like that. Or actually, no, I want to put my birthday down here. And we're going to put this gear up here. Like so. So we're going to bring it over just a little bit more. And lay it down like that. So let's get our birthday on. And I do have this popped up on some foam tape as well. So we'll get our backing pieces off, and then we'll add this, and once again I'm going to use my tweezers to do this, so I can get it placed right where I want it, which is about right there. So there's our birthday, and then we're going to add our gears. So I'm going to go ahead and add my gears, and I'm going to put just a little embellishment inside each gear. And I'm going to come back with the finished card along with how you're going to do your envelope. Okay, everybody. So I am back with my finished card. So when we left, last left off, I had already added my happy. And then we have the birthday down here. And now I've gone ahead and added my wheel gears that I cut out using the Tim Holtz die. And... I've also popped these up with some foam tape and then I added just some buttons in the center there. So now the other thing that I've done is I have gone and done an envelope. But this is a pre-made envelope. It was one that I've had a uh, stack of for several years and they happen to be in this color or black. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and taken some of the scrap paper that I had left over from making the card and I put that on the front. Now, Kim does give you the measurements on the size to make your envelope if you are using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. She used the card size 5 by 5.5, and, and the paper is cut at 8.5 by 8.5, and, and your first score line would be 4 and an eighth if you're using the punch board. And I would imagine you can also make this envelope using the Martha Stewart scoreboard. So then I decided that I wanted to add just a little bit more on the envelope. So what I've done is, as you remember, we cut off our paper bag and we had that piece left over. So I've just gone ahead and taken that piece and run it through my Big Shot using my Spellbinders label number 4 die. And this is the second from the largest size of the die and I just went ahead and ran that through using that piece of the paper bag that I had left over and then the next thing that I did is I took my Stampin' Up Whisper White stamp pad and I stamped out the happy birthday now this happy birthday is actually from the Cricut Artiste cartridge it came with several stamps, and I've used this stamp once before, and actually I've used it many times before because I really like that stamp for the banner with the happy birthday. And then the other thing that I use a lot is I've stamped my little um, cactuses or cattails down here at the bottom, and this is from the Stampin' Up! Pocket Silhouette Stamp Set. Now this is a very old one. Um, I believe it's retired. I actually got this on eBay. So if you're interested in getting that, you can try getting it on eBay. So that is it, everybody. This is my finished birthday card. And it's a paper bag card. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!